Hi, it's Den, and I'm back again to show off my newest phone in my rotary phone collection. So I just got this one, and this is a 1970s Bell Western Electric French style cradle phone. And it is the fourth phone in my rotary phone collection. I started collecting these about a year and a half or so ago, maybe a couple years now. I just think they're really neat. I like the nostalgia of old rotary phones. And this one's actually a, a push button. So that's another reason I got it because I have three rotary phones, which I've shown off in another video, but I will show them today too. But this one was really neat. I, uh, I wasn't really looking for another phone, but it kind of showed up and I'm like, well, that, that's neat. So let's see. Pretty cool. I like how that how the cradle goes down. And let's see. Like a little bell there. It's pretty cool. I couldn't get the exact date on it. I tried, but all I got was 1970s. And this came, so I bought this from a lady in Oregon. And it came in pretty good condition. Typically, I buy them on eBay, and they come really grungy and dirty, and they've been in storage, or they've been in a basement for decades. But I, I like cleaning them up and making them pretty again. But this one, this one came pretty nice already. It actually works, and it rings, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you that in a minute, or a few minutes. <laughs> This is the one I got. I've shown this off before. I got this one last August, I think. And this is my 1964 monophone. And I bought this one from York, Pennsylvania. And it had been in a basement for like 30 years. And it was really, really grungy and dirty. I had to scrub it with like a toothbrush and toothpaste because I tried magic eraser and all my normal tricks. And it wasn't working, <laughs> but it came out beautiful. And this actually works. And it, no, this one doesn't ring. That's right. And from what I understand, a lot of rotary phones you buy today use that old, old rotary phones, whatever. Of course, they're all old. <laughs> they don't, um, they don't ring. So yeah, this one doesn't ring, but it does work. I have a landline and I plugged it in. This phone is really heavy. I mean, it is so heavy. It's crazy. But yeah, it's got a nice sound to that rotary dial. I love that. Definitely has some weight behind it. And let's see, the first phone I got, I might as well show you. Um, this is my cream, cream one. Let's see, can I get it in the shot? Move this one a little. So this is my first one, and it actually doesn't work. It came with um, this cord was in it for a role play, but uh, it had a, a some kind of cord they converted to something else, and I I didn't buy it because I wanted to use it for real. It was just for um my channel to make videos, and um I love this one. It's my first one. Let's see. It's, it's, I love the way the dial sounds on this one. And this one is a 1966 Bell System 500 series. And I bought this one from someone in Georgia on eBay. So it was my first. So it's, I think I got it like two years ago, maybe. Okay. Now I'm going to show off my, my beloved red phone in just a minute. It's a uh, it's plugged in. It actually works. It actually rings. So that's why it's not in the shot right here. We're going to call it. And so you can hear it ring. That one was just oh, I was so happy. That red phone is a 1957 Bell System 500 series. And I got it from somebody in Long Beach, California. And um wow, did it clean up beautiful. It didn't look like much when I got it, which I don't mind. Like I said, I like to clean them up myself, but it cleaned up just beautiful. So yeah, I mean, this is just neat. 
I like the clicky sound. But yes, I just wanted to show off my newest phone. Okay, so we're going to call the red phone and then we're going to go over and pick it up. There you go. Okay, just a second. Okay, there's not a lot of light over here, but this is my red phone. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? No, this is not Tony's Pizzeria. No, really, it's not. No, you have the wrong number. Okay, thank you. Wrong number. Okay, so that's my red phone. And I've done some role plays on my channel. That's why it says this. I uh, wish the light was a little better over here, but it just isn't. But it's awesome, and I love it. Again, it's from the Bell 500 series. And... It's a 1957, which I couldn't believe that. It was like, wow. So it's pretty amazing. Okay. I'm going to hook the other phone up so that you can hear it ring too. So just a second. Okay. So now we're going to call the French style phone. Hello? No, this is the wrong number again. It's still not Tony's Pizzeria. No, seriously. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't think they'd be open anyways. No, okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that's it. That's both of them. They both ring. They both work. I proved it. And I'm just really thrilled with them. And so, yeah, this is my rotary phone collection. I guess this isn't actually a rotary phone, but it's still old, 1970s. And it's really cool. I'm going to dial it out. Let's see. Sounds cool. I don't know who to call. I can't call it. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning, so I can't, like, call anybody. I guess I could call my own cell phone. I don't think so. Not right now. But, yeah, that's it. So, thank you for joining me and looking at my collection. I will leave a link to, like, my last rotary phone collection video as I show off the other three a little more. But yeah, this, I wish the lighting was better over here, but it just isn't. <laughs> but this red one is really nice. You can see it up close. It's kind of blurry. It's heavy. These are heavy. You can knock somebody out with these. But I just love the red one. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you again for joining me. And I hope you'll join me for another video soon. I don't think I'll be getting any more. I think four is plenty. <laughs> but who knows? We'll see. Okay. Thanks so much. Den out.